Hello dear learners, welcome to today's program. I am Dr. Pallavi Kukoy of Krishna Kanta Handik State Open University. Today I shall take up Unit 8, Chinwachi Bay and the poem prescribed for you is A Mother in a Refugee Camp. In this video I shall be taking up the explanation of this particular poem. The course is General English Semester 1 Block 1. So let us quickly begin. First I shall start with a table of contents, starting with the learning objectives, explanation of the poem, a mother in a refugee camp, questions to check your progress and the references. Learning objectives. After going through this particular video, the learner will be able to explain the summary of the poem, a mother in a refugee camp and describe the poet's thoughts and reflections. Let us quickly come to explanation of the poem. I hope in your spare time you will also go through this particular poem and the text of the poem that is so that you will have a better idea of the explanation that I shall be providing to you in this particular video. The poem begins with a representation of a mother's love and sacrifice through the figure of Mother Mary and her son Jesus Christ. The opening lines spell the mood of the poem itself, capturing the pain and suffering of a mother. Here, a mother with a son in tow is but a ghost of her once happy self when she held her child with hope in her eyes. Now fate seemed to have shattered that self-image and that vibrant sense of optimism with the rage of war. She, like many other women, was a victim of the war and a story is captured in the poem A Mother in a Refugee Camp, which is prescribed for you. The description of the refugee camp itself speaks of the sufferings met by the children and the women alike. There is a gloomy atmosphere in the camp with the heavy odors of diarrhea of children suffering from malnutrition and of unwashed bodies. You can well imagine the condition of babies and little children with undernourished bodies, protruded bellies, prominently visible ribs, feeble steps and cries of hunger. The condition at the refugee camp was so horrific that mothers ceased to care and surrendered to their fate except this one woman who held on despite the sense of diminished hope. This woman was only a fragment of who she must have been once, trying hard to smile through her loss and suffering. She seemed to cling on the vestiges of her memories, the memories of her mother's pride that she had once cherished. She remembered all the little things that were special to her as a mother, but everything was lost in an instant. All that remained was a bundle of possessions from which she took out a broken comb to comb her son's rust-colored hair. Perhaps this takes her back to both their happier days when she did the same things with a mother's joy. She may have never realized how special these little moments were until they were all lost. With the hanging uncertainty of their future, the unfortunate mother does all that there is to do with the dying hope of her little son's survival. With this, we come to the end of this particular video. Now we shall come to the questions to check your progress. I hope you'd also go through the explanation once again so that you are better able to answer the same. Question number one. Give a detailed explanation of the poem A Mother in a Refugee Camp by Chinima Chibe in your own words. Question number two. Give a brief description of the refugee camp in Biafra. Question number three. What did the mother remember in the time of her suffering? I hope you'd also go through the BE English Graduate Self-Learning Material SLM of Child English course, BA First Semester, Block 1, Unit 8. Thank you, dear learners.